What's good, y'all? It's your man, it's your boy, Blue Day Day. And I'm gonna try out something new. I'm recording this because I ain't really want to feel like I'm running a show, if that makes sense. More like I'm just gonna sit down and talk about the stuff that I saw. I tried live streaming this, but YouTube was like, nigga, you funny. You're fucking funny. We're not tolerating that. And well, I'm not hating on it. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna keep we're gonna keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna we're gonna keep it moving. So they're they're basically just let me think. They're basically just four things I want to talk about. The new iPhone color, the AirTag, the iMac, and the iPad Pro. With really the main topic will be the iMac, because we'll get into it. Alright. So let's see. Let's pull up the website so we can at least do that without getting fucking striked since niggas wanna be niggas. No, we're not watching the event because motherfuckers gonna be wildin'. So, like I said, iPhone. You know what I'm saying? They made a purple. And I was weak because when I saw that, I told my girlfriend not to look at this iPhone. <laughs> she has an iPhone 11, right? She has a purple one. When I saw this shit, I said, hey, do not look at that. But she ended up wanting it anyways, which is cool. But, man, it looks nice. It looks very nice. I'm not even going to lie. I don't, like I said, because one thing I don't like. I don't like that blue. Blue is my favorite color, and I don't like the. I like the iPhone 12 Pro's blue more than the iPhone 12's blue. I mean, black will always, face gray will always be the ultimate. You know, that's my that's my allegiance. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I, so you know, it looks nice. You know what I'm saying? It looks presentable. I can't. You know, you can't honestly hate on it. You know. All right, so that's just that. I already know how that shit go. And then they got this thing called AirTag. Now this right here, this is hot. This is hot. Basically. They are, let's see, and the pricing was around $29.99, yeah. Oh, no, just, oh, $29, okay. And, you know, $100, because Apple, no matter what product they make, they always got to make $100. It's it's just, it's written in stone. This mouse, the white version was $89, if I'm correct, or $79. The black version, $99. I don't know what's their obsession with making these small accessories and finding a way to make it $100. It's very annoying, but anyways. So, I would definitely be getting one of these when I can because that shit's hot that shit is hot and you know you're able to add your emojis and shit you know what I'm saying ain't nothing because I know with Ridge wallets hold up let me change something real quick y'all I know one big problem with Ridge wallets is that they tried to charge me some bullshit and I ain't for it you're not gonna charge me no bullshit all right that should be all right boom so you can see everything now I had it in portrait mode. I do that so like the background shit can be blurred out and it can focus on me, but since it's different. So yeah, Ridge Wallet. I love this wallet. But get the tracker costs like $79 fucking dollars. I'm not spending I just spent $75 on the wallet. And they want me to spend some shit on a tracker? No. So I would definitely be getting one of these for my wallet. Best and believe that. And you know, you can put your little engraving on it, you know what I'm saying? That shit that shit it's cute. You know what I'm saying? It's cute. You know, you can't hate on it, you know. Let's see, they gotta have the dragon. Hey, you know, shout out to all my people who's a dragon, you know what I'm saying, the Chinese Zodiac. Oh, damn, they said that shit don't fit you funny. But yeah, so they got that. That's hot. I, I can't hate on it. That's hot. That's hot. We're going to definitely add that to the favorites. All right. I'm going over to iPad Pro. Basically, iPad Pro, they put the fucking M1 chip from, yeah, from the... This all started with a 13-inch MacBook Pro. It's basically Apple's own processor, and I think I think it's a processor and GPU as well, all in one. It's like an all in one chip, and yeah, they're putting the iPad Pro because why not? I mean, they're trying to expand beyond the Mac line. It makes perfect sense. All right. So yeah, that's you know, that's shit, you know, it's cute. It's the iPad Pro, but I'm found my iPad Mini. Shout out to my iPad Mini. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all the iPad Minis because that's I know we're very overlooked, but look. I don't want a big ass iPad. I do not. I like my shit small. See, see how it fits in my hands? I like that. I like that. You know what I'm saying? It looks nice. You know what I'm saying? It look look. It's nice. It's nice. Alright. Also, when you're streaming, look, prop it up like this. Small size. Boom. You control everything. It's like a little keyboard. But anyways. So big thing I wanted to talk about mainly was this. Yes, sir. Right here. The new 24 inch iMac, which granted, you can still get the older ones if you like. They're only saying 27, but you can get a 21.5 if you wanted to. Oh, no, nah, they trying to be some bitches. I don't do that. Uh-uh. 
Well, I saw it in fucking um in the fucking it was on the app, the Apple store app. It was on that, so I don't know what's going on. But anyways, so recently I've been considering getting an iMac because not I'm sure a lot of y'all may not know, but y'all see this right here? Battery is not charging because I have OBS and Safari running. It's really when OBS is running with camo. With camo. I don't like that. And right now, building your own PC is not... The, if, if, it, if you've been living under a rock, the smartest thing to do right now is to not build a PC. It's best to build, to buy a pre-build. And because of that, I've been considering getting an iMac, you know. It's just, you know, you don't have to worry about no fucking box. You don't have to worry about buying a monitor for it. It's literally an all-in-one. A true all-in-one is what I would say, because you have everything. You don't have to worry. You don't have to worry about buying a monitor. And it's stronger. You know, I was gonna get I was I was gonna get the same processor, but it's gonna have a better graphics card. But now as you see, they replaced the 21.5 inch iMac with the 24 inch iMac. Which alright, cool, that's fine. Cause I won't gonna get a 27 I, iMac. Cause I still this monitor that I'm using, like looking at the screen with, I use that for gaming. So and I have an old TV right here, but as oh yeah, y'all can actually see it. It's right here. It's an old Samsung TV I had that was like in my grandparents' attic for a minute. But unfortunately, because it's been in the attic for so long, the screen has a nasty yellowing effect now. So I was just thinking about getting an iMac. You know what I'm saying? Why not? You know, save up for a bit. You know what I'm saying? And cool. Which I'm going to do a lot of research on this because I don't know if the M1 chip is compatible with Windows, which should be. But you never know. You know what I'm saying? So for your basic, you know what I'm saying? Which I will be getting an 8-core GPU. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. See, GPU is also, it's an all-in-one GPU. It's an all-in-one fucking processor. It has a, it has a GPU. It has fucking mem it has doesn't it? If I'm correct, it has RAM too. Yeah, eight ugh, eight gigs of oh no, I don't like that. Eight gigs of memory. No, we're not doing eight gigs of memory. I don't know, y'all. Honestly, I've been thinking about buying like a old twenty-one five point five off eBay or something. We'll see. But as you see on the base base shit, they only offer four colors. Why? Cause even though they're saying as low as twelve ninety nine, they really want you to spend fourteen ninety nine. If anybody knows, if anybody has a relationship with Apple, you know how it goes. It's a very toxic and it's a very loving. It's a very hold up. It's a very toxic and it's a very loving relationship. You know, a lot of people. If a lot of people who's into Apple, you will get clowned a lot. It's just what it is. And it's perfectly understandable. And it's needed. Because some of the shit Apple be pulling, I don't be for it. Like, for instance, I'm sure y'all know on the new on the new fucking MacBook Pros or MacBook Airs. Ever since they came ever since the MacBook Pro in 2016 came out, they switched to all USB C. Like literally. I'll show y'all one day my setup. But as it is right now, literally. I have dongles every fucking where. I have at least three dongles plugged in. And then one port open for my charger. But I literally own about five dongles. Five. Five dongles. I don't like that. That that is it is it is so fucking greedy. And I do not like that at all. You know, people ask for this shit, you know what I'm saying? For oh, you know, fine, use USB C and they do, but they over fucking do it. You know what I'm saying? And it's not even like a good overdo it, you know. Like when fucking Honda made the Acura RL, and instead of getting a V8 rear-wheel drive, they did V6 all-wheel drive with a torque vectoring system. Now, instead, Apple, they just, they did the wrong overdoing. So now, I'll show the Apple one, but I have a bunch of third-party ones as well. This is actually kind of dirty, but as you see, boom, this is one of their little dongles. I got two of those. And yeah, everything else is pretty much third-party, because guess what? You gotta buy a fucking Ethernet port. Oh, oh, it's not that bad, right? Oh, you gotta buy an HDMI port. Oh, it's not that bad, right? Oh, what if you need a USB hub? Bam, you gotta buy that. And you gotta buy the, the adapter to go, that go from USB C to your fucking hub. Because I have a powered hub. So yeah, I don't I, I I've never been a fan of that. I don't stand for it. I'm not defending it. Whatever. Every time I every time we talk about Max, I will always attack that shit. Cause that shit is some greedy ass shit. And that was one thing I liked about the, the well, the iMac before this one. You know, you had about, if I'm correct, you had about three to four USB-A ports, one USB-C port, a Ethernet, and 
even an SD card slot, which I'll probably never use that, but shit, it's nice to have. And this one, though, not only did they do that bullshit, I hate that shit so much, y'all. Y'all just don't understand. Y'all don't. So when they say two Thunderbolt, two USB, three ports, they're basically saying USB-C. Like, if you watched the presentation and you saw the back of it, you have four USB-C points. Just two of them are Thunderbolt if you want faster connections, whatever. All that good shit. But I don't know, man. I'm not feeling that 8 gig unified memory. I'm not feeling that. I really want to have 16 gigs of memory. It's just, it's needed for video editing. It's needed for streaming. It is needed for all of that. That's why I love this MacBook Pro that I got. I got i7, I got 16 gigs, and it literally, it kicks ass. The only thing it sucks at, like I said, when I'm doing OBS and shit, this fucking charger is not enough. And I hate that, but it is what it is. So let's see, what else we got to go over? So, you know, they always going to brag about their fucking retina display. It is what it is. I hope the highs are not going as 512, though. I really hope they're not. Basically, they'll be you'll be able to order them the 30th of this month, which is April. It's the 20th today, so we got 10 days. And I'll probably go... If y'all want a second video of me going through the configurations, I'm probably going to... Which I'll probably do anyways, but, you know, just let me know. But, yeah. So, luckily... You do not have to you do not have to buy a dongle for Ethernet, which that was one big big thing I was worried about. Instead, it's included with the power adapter. So basically, they're doing an Xbox style power adapter. If you don't know what that means, basically you got a big ass box with a cord that connects to the console, and then you got a plug into the wall that connects to this box, and it basically sends power. So let's pretend that's that. So basically, you have an Ethernet port right here, and you got the power cord right here, and then you got the cord that connects to the iMac. Pretty dope. I can't lie. So cool. I don't have to worry about buying a fucking gigabit adapter. I, not a gigabit. An Ethernet adapter. Because I was going to be pissed if I had to do that. But, and luckily, this ain't going to apply to everybody. Which, that's why I am bitching about the four ports of USB-C. But for me, it's not that bad because I already have all my shit from my MacBook Pro. So my powered USB hub, I can plug that into the iMac. You know what I'm saying? Um... Yeah, so if I need a USB-A slot or something, I could easily plug that in. And shit, the Ethernet adapter I have is a hub as well that has about three three USB-3 ports. So, cool. You know what I'm saying? I can't... You know what I'm saying? Oh, now I see what they mean. They mean 3.0 by that. They mean 3.0. They're not so... They're so... They, do you see how slick they try to be? They don't say USB-C. They just say USB-3 ports. Which is... What is the average consumer going to think that is? Tell me. What is the average consumer really going to think that is? That is some bullshit, man. That's some greedy ass shit. Whatever, man. But anyways, so as you see, of course they're gonna pull this shit out. You know, they trying to make sure people. But honestly, I can't really say much about the price shit. Cause if if they don't have the configuration I want, I'm not getting it. You know what I'm saying? No, fuck that. And on top of that, I don't like the colors. I don't. I see what they were doing. Because you got you gotta remember the iMac. It's the spiritual successor of the EMAC, which was basically... They had these just my elementary school. They were always dope as fuck because all the colors. And I remember my favorite one was always the blue one. But, like I said... I'm waiting. No, I said that, I said that during the stream that got shut down by YouTube. But anyways, all my Apple devices, including my MacBook, my iPad, the iPhone I'm using as my webcam, they're all space gray. All of them. All of them are space gray. Space gray, iPhone colors to me... They are in allegiance. You choose an iPhone color. You have to go that your first Apple product color that correlates with any other product you have to stay with. That's just my opinion. Really, but in reality, you can get whatever you want. But for me, I'm a space gray person. I love space gray. The lap, I'm sure y'all see right here. Like the laptop space gray. And well, you can't see the phone because the phone's a camera, but that's space gray as well. Or graphite, which is basically just space gray. So I'm kind of hurt. Which granted, the original iMac wasn't, it was a silver lap, it was a silver thing. You weren't going to get that unless you got an iMac Pro, which I believe they discontinued, actually. It looked like they did, which I'm I'm happy they, I'm happy, yeah. It was good for them to discontinue that, because that was some bullshit. iMac Pro was ridiculous, bro. It was a 10G, a 10K computer, my G. $10,000, like, just to get, like, a B. Like, if you could, like, put max everything, 10 grand. That's fucking ridiculous, Apple. So I'm glad y'all discontinued that one. That was fucking greedy right there. That was green as fuck. 
But all right, as you see, like I, I'm not feeling that. I'm really hoping they do at least two gigs of storage. Because when you get a desktop, it's not like a laptop. You know what I'm saying? What I mean by that is, so my MacBook got about one terabyte of storage. Cool. That's fine on a laptop. But you know, when you get a desktop and you're going to start doing way more things on it, you're going to need way more storage than fucking 512 gigs. So I'm expecting the configuration, I'm speculating that the configuration I'm going to want is probably going to be around 2400 for sure. So it will be a while before I get this. If they even have the option. And I'm going to need my 16 gigs of memory. If I cannot get that, I'm going to be hot. I am going to be hot as a bitch. If I cannot get that, I am going to be hot. So, let's see. There are, let's see, one, two. There are two main things I'm going to need. I'm going to need two gigs, of, two gigs of storage, 16 gigs of memory. Those two things. I'm fine with getting the silver color because the silver color actually don't look that bad to me. I'm actually fine with the silver color. Yellow looks pretty hot too. But, you know, the other ones, eh, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I kind of like green. But I don't know. I'm not... Uh, when it comes to Apple products, I'm a very boring person. I like my space gray. I like my boring colors. I know a lot of people give the iPhone Pro for some shit. They give, they give it a lot of shit, actually, for only having a little slight amount of colors. But to me, that is Apple... That's Apple honoring the OG colors. You know what I'm saying? How about say the bitch let me build it? Which is a core don't worry, that ain't graphite y'all. That's space gray motherfucker. Which is space gray, silver, and gold. And you know they all they ever since the eleven pro they brought in the extra no ever since the seven they always brought in an extra color. So let's see no six S they always brought in extra color because six S you had rose gold seven you had a jet black eight let's see no eight didn't have no special colors it's the 10 so basically ever since excluding the 10 and the eight they always had a special color so like with the 11 pro they had the fucking the green you know what i'm saying and with this phone you got the blue which i was considering getting because like i said i love that that should look hot but like i said i didn't want it to be jarring compared to my other devices so i went ahead and got the graphite but i do like the blue a lot though no cap but let's see. So, yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. New iMac. It's cool. But I don't know. I'm not really I'm not really feeling it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not I don't like that eight gigs of memory. I don't like the I'm assuming everything's base, but assuming that all of this shit is a chip. Including the graphics card. Oh, there we go. So one thing I hate now, they're only giving you the fucking i5. The configuration I built had an i7 in there. I hate that. That it's, and look, you, okay, so you can still get 16 gigs of memory, but looks like you're gonna be dealing with. And another thing I don't like is you can't even choose the graphics card no more. They're instead just giving you a processor, calling it a day. I shut you not. That's exactly what they just did. So. You're essentially going to have no graphics card in this newly old Mac, iMac, which is ass. And of course, they're only going to make it like a hundred. They're going to make it barely cheaper so you can just give in and buy the newer one. Simple business practices. And obviously, as y'all know, this motherfucker. Well, one, it's too big. And two, it's too fucking much. Let's see. I'm about to say, we're going to build something I will want in this. Fuck that. I don't care about that. All right, I'm fine with the i7. Okay, so we're already at 2,500. See, it's that um i'm good with a i would want to get the best fucking graphics card that's a, the 57 xt with 16 gigs that's a good ass capture card i mean i say capture card that's a good ass graphics card especially with what's going on with this fucking industry right now and i want two gigs of storage two terabytes yeah you see we're already it's see it's disgusting oh it's disgusting it's just disgusting so i don't know but yeah, basically everybody, that's all I wanted to give my opinion on. You know what I'm saying? Just what Apple was showing. I had to do it this way because, well, they were, like I said, I tried to live stream it. YouTube shut that shit down real quick. So I just had to do it this way. But you know, 
I just hope everybody, you know what I'm saying? Y'all have a good time, man. Y'all have a good night. Um, There won't be no stream tonight, so that's why I made this video instead. And yeah, you know, keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all for watching this quick video. And yeah, I'll probably catch y'all. See, tomorrow's Wednesday. I'll probably catch y'all Thursday. I think I'm going to stream Thursday. So yeah. But yeah, all right, y'all. I'm finna go enjoy the rest of my day. You know what I'm saying? You know, keep it moving. <laughs> Let's get it, nigga.